From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night on LA Late as now 14, yes, you heard me right, 14 categories of fourth stimulus checks. Hello. We're going to go over the latest two checks debuted last night on this broadcast. They added to the three stimulus checks that became law by the President of the United States in the month of March and the seven that became law by the Act of Congress three weeks ago. And the two that I found last week, bringing it to a grand total of 100 to 200 four stimulus checks. And tonight we meet one viewer. One viewer who became a member and in less than one month, what did he get? 18 months of checks. And not just one check, one, two, three, three checks over 18 months. We'll go over the latest details you need to know across the board. Plus, we'll be going into that lifetime of stimulus, the raise of your benefits, and the breaking news tonight. The August payroll released. Job creation. What did we see in that number? We saw a number in there that impacts the inflationary discussion, that impacts the raise of your benefits. It's great news because guess what? The number went up month to month. We'll go over the latest details on that August payroll number released today that gauges how much job, how many jobs were created in the month of, Mo of July and why your benefits are going up a lot. Plus, we'll be looking at that unemployment number that came in yesterday and what does it say for this economy? But more importantly, what does the unemployment rate released today say about this administration? Huge breaking news. You need to become a member. Go around this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cowski, and OVIP. We also have the latest details on that massive report today on the housing industry. The housing industry really collapsing very quickly and very pronounced. It's breaking news that we didn't even have it yesterday on the same broadcast. Oh, it's a big night with a lot of money. 100 to 200 checks, you qualify. 14 categories of stimulus checks, for stimulus checks, and tonight's according to $100,000, Housing, markets, the Federal Reserve, recession, inflation. There's so much coming up in tonight's recording because there was a lot of breaking news tonight. I'm going to get you caught up on everything you need to know. Your lifetime stimulus, and there's a big recording across the board. Then if it raise your housing market, your unemployment, your forced stimulus. Everything you need to know heats up right now, right this evening, as Evenings LA gets out of way. Good evening, everybody. I, tonight, I start with this salute, a salute to a member who's only been a member for one month to this channel, and look what he got. He got 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet in Florida. Congratulations, that incredible viewer. That is 18 months of at least three checks, but it looks like it's likely more money. That's why you become a member. Look what he got in this channel by becoming a member for just one month. But you don't want to become a member for only one month because in the last month, what did I get you? Three stimulus checks passed in March you had on this channel a month ago. Then in the last three weeks, we got the seven categories of checks passed by Congress. Last week, I found two new categories. And last night on this broadcast in prime time, I found two more categories. Tonight, we have 14 categories of stimulus checks that pay about one hundred to two hundred thousand dollars, one hundred to two hundred checks. Wow, we got a lot coming up in tonight's recording. But we're going to start with the major breaking news tonight, which of course is that August payroll number released earlier today, featured live on air on Mornings LA. It was a big number. Why? Because of the sub number in there. Let's go right into the details. The non-farm payroll, which is the job creation number released once a month, came out this morning, August. Excuse me, September 3rd, September 2nd. I can't get the month right. September 2nd, 2022. And that number was expected to come in at 318,000, which would have been a major drop from, compared to the month of July when it was 526,000. 
They were looking to fall to fall to 318. It fell even more to 315,000. Wow. So a matches massive drop in the number of jobs created in this economy dropping from over 500,000 in the month of July to less than even expected for the month of August 315. But there's more in the data that's really shocking. Also released in this non-farm payroll number for September 2nd, 2022 this morning was the unemployment rate. Here you go. There's that unemployment rate. The unemployment rate, which has been the real uh, stand to hang your hat on for this administration, lowest since 1969, no longer the case. Because it surged. It went up two-tenths of a percentage point to 3.7%. The highest expectation of Wall Street to grow. And then the big news for you if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rural Benefits. Remember one of those component parts we were looking to gauge whether inflation is going up or flat? Well, here we go. Wages went up in the last month. OMG. Yes, they rose 5.2% year to date, and they rose 0.3% month to month. So this is huge. Let's jump right into why this is important, and we'll jump back into this report. This is huge because we're trying to gauge how much your benefits are going to go up. We already know they're going up a lot. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits. And we want to see some data. We have the CPI released once a month, but we want to see some data in between. We had the producer price index. We had the retail sales. And we, we, we had the producer, uh, the personal consumption expenditure index last week. But tonight, we have a shocker. Salaries are going up month to month. Folks, no one saw that one coming. And this is great news for your benefits because remember, your benefits are going up a lot. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, how much? Some of you 5000 some of you less, some of you more. And we want to see some of these component parts like rent. I wish I had some rent data for you tonight. I don't. But if rent is going up, that would mirror what we have tonight, that salaries actually went up. No one saw that company coming month to month. We'll go over why this is great news for you and your benefits later in this recording. But let's jump back into this non-farm payroll number. It basically shows that the administration is not generating as many jobs as they would have hoped. 500,000 a month of June, July, dropping to a mere 315. How low is 315,000 jobs in one month? It's the lowest gain or the lowest job creation since April 2021. So that's not a good number. And the unemployment rate is a is a is not a direction you want to see going, but I've been saying that's going to happen because as you're in recession, unemployment gets worse progressively through recession. Then, which jobs were created this last month? They were pay they were professional and business services added 68,000. We have retail at a 44,000 and healthcare at 48,000. The analysis is hysterical because why? One analysis goes one way and one analysis goes another way. Great data, bad data. They're saying contradictory comments. And Michael Rohn, you want to give him a Purple Hawk hug. He's the chief investment strategist at State Street Global Advisor, says it's right. There's something in everything, something for everyone in this report. <laughs> Basically, you see tomato, I see tomato. No, you see tomato, I see tomato. <laughs> <laughs> you see potato, I see potato. No, potato. Potato? Well, I don't know what it is. Uh, you see barbecue Brussels spout, I see barbecue Brussels sprout. <laughs> this, reports, this report supports the Fed's ability to engineer soft landing markets like this. But he goes on to say that basically the way you see, you see this non-farm payroll job creation number is that it gives not strong enough data to be more aggressive for the Federal Reserve and then not weak enough data to slow down. I love his comments. This is par for the course of what we're looking at. Now let's go into those benefits because this is great news. Your benefits are going up a lot because we've seen inflation not go down, but we had wondered what was going on with those component parts like wages. Well, tonight we know they're going up month to month. OMG, that's great news for your benefits. Then we also have milk and eggs. They're not going down at all. What about rent? I wish I had rent data because the rent is 30% of the inflationary calculation. Well, tonight we have the salaries and they're still going up. This is big news if you're on benefits. My goodness. We'll go over the calculation of this in a second. The other major news we're starting with tonight is those incredible forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. We have expanded from three 
categories of checks, A, B, and C, to now 14 categories of stimulus checks. Can you imagine the celebration of the Purple Hawk dance you want to do? This is incredible. First, the first three were A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. Views have been getting since the month of March. Then, three weeks ago, Congress passing seven new categories. That's E through K. Checks E through K. Last week, I found two new categories, L and M. And last night on primetime in this show, I debuted checks N and O. Now, these are categories of stimulus, not individual checks. So there's even more checks than 14. Let's go over everything you need to know about this money starting right now. First, let's remember that the first three categories alone are about, yes, $100,000, A, B, and C. The first three categories, A, B, and C, are a whopping $100,000. We'll go over these checks with you in just a second. Passed by the executive action of Joseph Biden, the first three checks, A, B, and C, are huge amounts of money. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them. If you have children, don't have children, on benefits, SSI, SSDI, seniors, young, old, go get them. How you get them? Go under this video and become a member. And later in this video, we're going to go over those first three categories of checks, A, B, and C, $100,000 right there. Then we'll go into checks E through K, seven new categories. Then L&M debuted last week, two new categories there. And then N and O, two new categories debuted last night on this channel, in this show. 14 categories, 100 to 200 checks, 100 to $200,000. You're not going to see this anywhere else because no one cares about you like I do. No one puts in the research for you like this channel does. And all you have to do is become a member and pounce and get these incredible checks. Where do you get them? In the membership newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Now let's go back into the other massive story that was in that non-farm payroll number. It's the unemployment. The White House has been trying to tell you it's the lowest unemployment rate since 1969, and hence there's no recession. They can't do that anymore because slowly the unemployment number is falling apart. It surged two tenths of a percentage point to 3.7%. And this is as the jobless claims yesterday fell to 230, uh, to 230, 232,000 new jobless claims for the weekend in August 27th. But that's not good. Because in April, we had 147, then we went to 260. So these are generally not good numbers. Now, let's go to the incredible great news for you, and that is your benefits. Your benefits are SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, and they're going up a lot. Lifetime of stimulus. Why? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Here's an example. If you make $100, $800 a month, and your benefits go up 10%, you're not going to get just $880 a month, one year, but a lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. If they go up 10% this year, then that's lifetime, and they could go up more on top of that. Why is this? Because of what's going on with inflation. Tonight we have breaking news on this as well. What's going on? The inflation is still going higher with some of these component parts. And that inflation is what gauges your benefits. First, let's go over the benefit raises. And then let's go over the calculation. Then we'll go back to exactly how much your benefit's going to go up. First, some of you will see 5000 uh, rise. Some of you see less. Some of you see more. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Why? Because inflation's gone really high. And then let's go over to that inflationary story starting right now. How high has inflation surged? Well, it has gone up a lot. In the month of May, it was really high. In the month of June, it went higher. And we've been watching the July, August, and soon the September data. Let's look and see what has happened. With the Consumer Price Index, the CPI, how much you pay for goods at the supermarket for inflation in the last three months. Let's watch right now. May, it was 8.6%. Then June, OMG. 9.1%, that's really high. Then we were waiting for that July data because if inflation stays as high or higher, your benefits are going up a lot. This is great news for your benefits. So what happened with that August 10th, 2022 release of the July CPI? 
it came off just a little bit, a half a percentage point, just a half a percentage point. But the component parts went up month to month. Oh, this is exciting. So milk and eggs went up. Salaries went up. Rent went up. And the gasoline went down. So we understood we have to watch two more months of data. July. It should be August release, September 10th, just days away. September release, October 10th. And then we'll understand specifically how much your benefits are definitely going to go up. But we can actually live it before we have it reported. And we see it in the supermarket, how much you're paying. We see it at the gas station. But tonight we have breaking news. Over the last two weeks, we said, well, what do you think is going on in the month of August? Milk and eggs, same or higher? Jump to the live chat, write what you think. That's what I think. I think they're about the same. Uh, the wages, last night on this channel, I said, the wages are about the same. They haven't gone down. Well, apparently I was wrong. The wages have actually gone up. That was a surprise. Went up 0.3 percentage points in the last 30 days. OMG, great news for you. So that's why I really wish I had some rent data, and I don't. Rent is 30% of inflation. So if rent has gone up, oh, this is looking really good. Because remember on the gasoline side, international price of rent crude has gone up and the domestic unleaded has gone down. So how much are your benefits going to go up and why are they going to go up? Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. And that COLA over three months of data determines how much your benefits go up. What are those three months of data? They are July. August and September. We have the July data release just a week, two weeks ago on August 10th. We're waiting for the August data to be released on September 10th. And if that number remains, remains where it is or a little bit higher, your benefits are going up a lot. Let's go over the details of it right now. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. You don't have to do anything. Some of you 5,000, some of you more, some of you less. Same percentage raise? Absolutely, yes. And it's just incredible. Biggest lift of a generation. So now let's go over the possibility of where those numbers are. The Seniors League, which is a nonprofit organization, looked at the number for that August 10th. And they said, based upon that CPI of an 8.5%, based upon one month of data, because we need three months, your benefits would likely go up 10.1%. That's huge. But do I think it's going to be a little bit more? You know, I'm going to be watching that September 10th CPI print released like you and I are. But I'm really loving the data so far. Personal consumption expenditure index last Friday flat. Retail sales flat. PPI flat. And this data here, salaries up. Oh, boy, it's looking good. It's really looking good. So do I think the 10.1% lift from the Seniors League is conservative? I think it is. One person sent me a beautiful message on Facebook about this. Remember, that's not a guaranteed percentage, the 10.1%. It's an analysis by the Seniors League. It could be more. It could be less. I think it's going to be more. We'll have more about that tomorrow morning on this channel. Now, let's jump into the other major story that's heating up tonight, which is, of course, those 14 categories of stimulus checks. And you're going to need them. Because why? There's big problems with the markets, big problems with the earnings recession. And more companies reported earnings today, but did they downward guide saying the rest of this year is going to be a big trouble for them? Or did they beat across the board? Well, it's quite fascinating today. We had a lot of companies that came in relatively stronger than expected. Lulamon rallied, beating 9.5%. Broadcam rose 2%, beating. Bed Bath & Beyond falling, missing 5.5%. And Page Duty beating and giving stronger guidance up 6%. Wow, that's a biggie. And then the other major story we want to stay with, of course, is that housing data. I'm going to go to that housing data in just a second. But first, I want to jump into the membership newsletter. The membership newsletter is so critical because what's in there? All the stimulus. You want to become a member, go around this video, join the channel, then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. YouTube alerts. Hear that again. YouTube alerts, not LA Late alerts. And at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, get that newsletter and go in and apply for those incredible checks, A, B, and C, E through F, L and M, and N and O. Let's recap. A is one category as a check, B is, and C is one category, but upwards of 80 checks. B and C are upwards of 80 checks in that individual category. In the case of check C in the newsletter, you're going to have 12 places to reach out to, to find those check Cs. E through K 
are one category, one shack, and then L and M, L is one shack, M is several shacks, and N and O, debuted last night on this channel, are a series of, uh, of great items across the board. We're gonna go over all these incredible shacks in just a second. Now, one of the benefits of becoming a member is, of course, those worksheets. The worksheets are in the membership newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, and those worksheets are huge. What are they? Let's go over all those worksheets right now. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's getting very exciting. The worksheets are a series of pages, a PDF you can print off from your cell phone or computer and download them. And when you do, this is what they look like. Here we go. This is what they look like. It's a series of pages. You print them out and you download them or put them on a separate piece of paper and take notes. And we learned a lot on those worksheets tonight. Again, the worksheets are in the third or fourth line of the newsletter. Line one, uh, excuse me, line one of page one of the worksheets is inflation. What did we learn tonight? Well, salaries went up. Very good. Salaries went up. Is the headline inflation going to go up? We'll see. Recession. We'll be going over this in the big second half of this recording. Very clear recession under wave housing. And the rest of this market, yes, as well. I'll analyze that in the big second half. Stay with me. There's a lot coming up. Labor. OMG. The White House wanted to say that the labor number, the lowest unemployment rate since 1969, was the reason why there's no recession. Tonight, they can't do that anymore. As unemployment's starting to fall apart, this is what happens in a recession. Labor falls apart later in a recession, not the start of the recession. So for anyone who wants to come out and say there is no recession because labor's strong, that's not how recessions and labor work. And then the Federal Reserve, we'll be talking about this later in the corner, the Federal Reserve has meetings of the FOMC for those Fed governors in September through December. And tonight we see that the recordings of this channel have been really spot on because all I'm doing is basically repeating what the Fed governors have said. They're going to have those interest rates spikes for a while. How long? Into 2023. How strong? 75 basis point. And I'll explain to you why in just a second. But first understand what Wall Street thinks. They're going to do it for one or two months and be done with it. Uh, no. And that is why Wall Street has been down every single day since last week. And it'll continue to be down until they get this wake-up call. They really betted against the Federal Reserve, and they betted wrong. The second page of the worksheets is the one that viewers are winning so across the board. And I want to pull up this graphic, which I led with. Look at this incredible view out of Florida. Became a member for one month, and look what he got. One month on this channel... And look what he got for just one month of this channel. Got check B, 18 months of mortgage. Incredible. 18 months of utilities. Incredible. 18 months of high speed. Incredible. Florida. Just incredible. Now, repeat. Let's understand the importance of this second page of the worksheets. It's a page to keep track of all your stimulus that you apply for. Let's look at that second page right now as a family. Let's pull it up. Here we go. Here's the second page of the worksheet. You want to keep track of all the checks you're applying for. Check A, one check. Check B, that is the check that that, uh, that Frank just explained. 18 months, and he got four items. Well, if the utilities is one item, but most people have a lot more. You're going to meet one viewer a second who got 18 months over four, uh, of four checks a month, five checks a month. That is 80 checks. Spelling got check A and check C. Longtime volunteer and member and triple member, Dragon got 148,000. Lynn Glenn got 12 months of utilities and then some rent. Two viewers last week got 14 months of rent and another viewer got 12 months of utilities. That's why you want to fill out this, this page. Let's remember, check B is upwards of 18 months, five checks a month. That's 80 checks. Check C is the same thing. The only difference is you have 12 places to reach out to. E through K are one check, one category. L and M and N and O are a little bit different. They're a little bit more than that. That's why you got to keep track of all this incredible stimulus on here. What did that few out of Florida do? Forgot they had applied for the incredible check B. And then got that message from the state of Florida. You got to approve for the check B. Wow. Applied for mortgage and 18 months of mortgage. Plus applied for utilities. Let's say those utilities were four months of utilities. Four plus the mortgage. That's five checks a month times 18 months. Incredible. 80 plus checks 
that's why you want to become a member. Get these incredible checks across the board. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks one at a time, you and I. The next page of the worksheets is to keep track of the potential of your benefit raises. So you can run different calculations. Remember, it's, it's a percentage calculation. And you can do this sometimes on your calculator, speaking to your phone. If you make $1,000 a month and it goes up 10%, then that would be, let's just do a simpler number, $800 a month, then it goes up 10%. That means you get $880. It went up $80 a month. That's how you calculate it out. And then gas prices, really fascinating across the board. Gas prices continue to fall domestically, but international price crude, price crude going up. International price of Brent crude is tracking higher. Some days it's a little bit lower. Let's remember what happened after the last three-day weekend. The domestic unlighter went up. But here's the breaking news as well. I did not have it earlier today. Nord Stream 1, which I used to feature a lot on this channel, which is that pipeline that feeds natural gas from Russia to Western Europe, is, you can finish the sentence, you know what I'm about to say, not coming back online. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, so there's a big worry in Western Europe that they're going to be strangled for natural gas this winter. Yes, they have set up contingencies. Yes, they have other sources of that natural gas because they expected this event to happen. But the event has now happened. And that routine maintenance that was supposed to be done, you know, weeks ago, never ended. And Nord Stream 1 has not come back online. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks, A, B, C, and then E through K, then L and M, and then N and O. We'll be going over why it's so important to get this money, what the Federal Reserve is doing that impacts your wallet. Then we'll be cutting over to this recession. It's so important to understand where this recession is. And folks, I have a lot of major breaking news to start before the commercial break. And it's housing. Housing is suffering a big problem tonight. Last night, on this recording, I had the data that the existing home sales were down, the new home sales were down, and yet the analysts were saying, well, the prices are holding. They're still able to get the same prices on the homes, and the housing prices are holding. That was 24 hours ago. It's no longer the case. The housing data tonight for September 2nd, 2022 is perhaps the worst I've ever had on this channel because there is a house recession underway. We already knew home sales were down, existing home sales, new homes. But tonight we also learned that the inventory is starting to build up. Here we go. And also the prices are starting to fall dramatically. We learned in the last month that the drop of the prices has been significant and this is the first time you've heard this from me one in five home sellers are now dropping the sale of their home prices and that is in all housing markets so 20 percent of all sellers have now slashed prices of homes then the median sell sale price of a home the listing price so this is the number that everyone said yesterday that they're holding up they're no longer holding up they have now fallen 42% lower than August 20, 2019. Uh, excuse me? Yes, the sale price of homes in the United States is now, 42% of them is now lower than August of 2019. So the year right before the, reset, before the pandemic. And they're actually 14% lower than last year. 14% lower than last year? Yes, this is really bad data. So th then we also have the number of days the houses are on the market. They have grown from, you know, nearly, you know, 24 hours on the market and they sell. Now they're staying five days longer on the market than they were before. Big problems with a capital B. And I'll have the latest details about that in the big second half. But first coming up in the big second half are those incredible 14 categories of stimulus checks, 100, 200 checks, and $100,000, dollars we are going to go over each check one at a time, you and I. I'm going to show you how to get each individual check. So get ready with your notes. And if you're a member, get ready with that newsletter in front of you. We're going to go over all this incredible money one at a time. Welcome to all the new members. If you're not a member, become a one right now. And get ready for these big checks in the big second half. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Become a member, and I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As America's most loved show in prime time and most watched show in prime time for financial news continues. It's evening to LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California, with the latest details on all that incredible stimulus. 18 cat 14 categories, 100, 200 checks coming up in the big second half. See you back shortly. 
as the news continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a beautiful September 2nd, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful Labor Day weekend. I'll be with you all weekend long. Take me to the beach with you on your cell phone. Take me on the road. I'll be broadcasting with the breaking news and I'll always be finding you new checks. Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. If you are a member, make sure you're in new because a month ago, we had three categories of checks. Tonight, we have 14 categories of checks. 100 to 200 checks, 100 to $200,000. We're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. The first check is a wonderful check A. Check A is $6,500 to $12,000. A fourth the most check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. How do you get it? You go under the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Go down where under where it says check A, click the link, and go right in and get it. This is the check that Spelly got. Then let's jump into check B. This is the check that Frank got. Also the view out of Florida and other viewers as well. Fifteen eighty thousand dollars There's a force to most check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? You go under the video and become a member. Welcome to hundreds of new members daily. And re returning members and upgrading members from Purple Hawk to Purple Power. You want to stay a member and renew your membership because when you miss checks, the checks will miss you. They may run out of funds and you don't want to miss any checks across the board. Stay a member and new members because I'm finding new checks for you on a regular basis. Go under the video where it says join the channel. Also subscribe. And then when you see check B in the membership newsletter, you go down and click the link and go right and get it. And there we go. That is check B and A. $100,000, but we're not done there yet. We go with check C. This is a check that Dragon got part of her $148,000 from. Lingland, 12 months of utilities. Two viewers, 14 months of rent. Another viewer, 12 months of utilities. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. How do you do it? You go under the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Via the YouTube alerts. Remember, it's the YouTube alerts, not the LA Late alerts. Go down to where it says Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. And remember, Track C has 12 different places to get potentially 14 months of payments for potentially four payments of bills a month. That's 80 plus checks, 12 places. Wow, that is a massive amount of stimulus. And that's why we know what we're doing because we've been doing this check C for a long time on the channel. It predates four stimulus. It predates third stimulus. Let's look at some of the success stories we've had. From rent all the way up from Nisi to Elizabeth, do you want $30,000 for rent? Then go get it. For utilities, you know, Lynn Glenn got those 12 months of utilities just a few days ago. Here we got some other utility success stories. Mark at 6,500, but his brother-in-law getting 15,000. 
Snap, look at these incredible numbers. That same brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. And then look at this, combinations. Nisu's is at 23,000, she went to 50,000. Mark was at 32,000, he went to 166,000. Went to this graphic, then went to 100, then went to 166. And here is Lorraine in all the live chats. She went to 105 and then hit 150. And those, my friends, are the wonderful check A, B, and C. Check A, B, and C. The first three clusters and categories of checks that became law in the month of March by executive action from Joseph Biden, and that view is a beginning ever since. Three categories of checks, but since then we have now other checks, and the other checks are E to K, L to M, and N to O. Let's go over them right now. E to K became law by Congress no less than three Sundays ago. And let's go over E to K. They're in the membership newsletter together. E to K shortly after C. E is $7,500. F is $4,000. G is 30% off. H is $2,000. Let's jump over the next one. I and J are each $8,000. And K is $14,000. My goodness, that's incredible. That is E through K. That became law by Act of Congress two, no, three Sundays ago. Last week, I found you two new categories of checks thereafter. I found you L and M, like lots of money. L is around $100,000 on average of loan interest-free money for the purchase of a home. And then M is lots of checks, your money to keep. About $4,000 in grants for the purchase of a home. That is incredible. So $100,000 plus $4,000, of which for the $4,000 is yours to keep, just absolutely incredible. The money continues this week when last night I debuted N and O. And, and looking at that N again tonight, I realized the N is really insane. <laughs> it's incredible. N is free internet, but it's more than that. So the N starts with $30 uh, a discount per household for the internet, but in many cases free. Then it also includes $100 approximately towards the purchase of a laptop, computer, or tablet, or desktop. I got to tell you, there are some wonderful tablets in the market that are less than $100. Imagine how much excitement and how much stimulus you can get with a good tablet. That is just great news, $100 for that. That is check N. Check N and O are together in the membership newsletter after L and M. O debuted last night with L N as well, and O is just so insanely great, I have to look at it every time and think to myself, how do they do it? O is zero down payment, zero closing costs for a purchase of a first home. A purchase of a home, not first, any home. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> this just seems too good to be true, but it's true. Zero interest, zero down payment, zero closing costs. No, I said that wrong. Zero down payment, zero closing costs for the purchase of a home. It's just incredible. No minimum credit score or mortgage insurance is even required. Wow, I didn't say that one last night. It just keeps on getting better by the night. It's just incredible. That's how this channel works. Check A, B, and C. Then we have the wonderful checks E through K that became law by Act of Congress three Sundays ago. L and M debuted on this channel last week. N and O debuted yesterday. I know people are going to be coming back from the Labor Day weekend and say, what the world did I miss? <laughs> They're going to be saying, uh, he had this three checks. When did it go to 100 checks? Yeah, the, you know, <laughs> I work quickly. <laughs> I had no bacon, so I was bored. <laughs> go out of the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cast, you know, VIP. Get these incredible checks. You want to stay a member if you are a member because whatever checks I got you before, I got more checks to get for you tonight as well. Now, let's go into the other major breaking news that's across the board. But before that, I'll remind you. First, go into the video, join as a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cast, you know, VIP. If you're watching LA 1, you get the membership newsletter. If you're watching number LA 2 or LA 3 and you're members as well on those channels, you get the membership newsletter. Congratulations to Margaret and congratulations to Dragon. The first two triple members to the LA Broadcasting Network. She is now, they are both 
members of all three broadcasting channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. LA2 and LA3 will expand next week to include new programming, so you're going you're gonna to love this new stuff because a lot more of what you're asking for is coming. Very, very exciting. Next, make sure you go into the video and subscribe, and then go to the front of this channel and hit that alert button to make sure all your alerts are set to all on. Let's jump over to the important story also making news tonight, which is those comments by Loretta Mester. Those incredible comments are so huge because Wall Street has really messed up. They've messed up. The street has messed up really badly. Why? It starts with Wall Street's job, and their job is to embed risk into the markets. If there's a risk that Putin invades, you embed the risk. If there's a a risk that lobster shorts become uh, a a fashion moment, you embed into the markets. If there's a risk that the waivable check actually waves back at you, you embed it in the markets. They did not do that. They did not do that. And they have really messed up badly. All this week, the stock market has been down every single day. Last week, it was down 1,000 points. And this is bad news for this economy. Let me explain to you what's going on, because it's a really bad situation getting worse. First, if you've been watching me for a while, I've been saying September is going to be a financial cliff. Why? Because I said Americans, mom and pops, middle America won't know that the status quo is going to turn south, get really bad very quickly. They don't know because they're perhaps not in tune with the markets, not in tune with financial news like you are. And they're going to be walking along and fall off a financial cliff because they weren't paying attention to the data. I never thought that the people who had access to the data, who are watching the data, Wall Street, on a regular basis, they're the ones falling off the financial cliff. I never had this in my bingo card for 2022. Folks, this is really not good. Here's what's an issue. The Federal Reserve got it wrong last year when they said that inflation was going to be 2 to 3 months and 2 to 3% and temporary transitory. Remember that expression then, temporary or transitory? I said, no, it's going to be 8% and pervasive for a while. It came in at 8% in January. This is important to remember because what did the Federal Reserve do? They raised interest rates to get inflation down from 8%. Now as we start September, how far they got to the down? Almost nowhere. They've got to down a half a percentage point, which is really nothing, in eight months of doing interest rate spikes. So they've been doing interest rate spikes at those monthly FOMC meetings. I should say seven because they didn't meet in the month of August. Seven spikes in seven months, and they've gotten that those interest, they've gotten that inflation down nothing, half a percentage point. What did Wall Street attempt to sell you on as a fake narrative over the last month? That the Federal Reserve was going to just stop. Just stop. Leave inflation alone at 8%. Stop with those interest rate spikes and just go on with their daily lives. Who would ever believe that? Federal Reserve is not going to leave inflation at 8%. That's not their established charter agreement. Number two, 8% inflation will be entrenched in the American public. You'll get used to spending Five dollars a gallon on milk. You're not going to get do that happen anytime on my watch. Number three, the Federal Reserve had actually said we're doing this time and time again. These interest rate spikes every month until we get it to two percent. And Wall Street ignored the comments from Bullard, Governor Bullard, Governor Daly, and Governor Bowman, who said we're doing these interest rate spikes for a while. They thought they could ignore everyone. And then Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, spoke last Friday in Jackson Hole. And what did he say? I need to be a little bit more direct with you. How do you translate that expression? I have to be a little bit more direct with you. You need to listen to me carefully. And then he said, we're going to be doing these interest rate spikes for some time. Some time. Day after that, another Fed governor repeated the same expression. Some time. Then John Williams, the Fed governor of New York, said some time. And we wondered how long is some time. Then, the most important comments the entire summer. And I got to tell you, they've been thrown by the wayside. I said, I I would put them in a frame and just remember them by heart. They're from the Cleveland Fed Fed President, Loretta Mester. She said, we need inflation 2%. We've heard that before. We're going to do those interest rate spikes until we're done. We've heard that before. We'll be doing this for some time. She said that before. And this could continue into 2023. 
that's sometime. Wall Street was trying to sell you that some, tell you that sometime was four weeks. She's telling you sometime is another half a year. Should it be a surprise to you? Nope, it should not, because you're not falling off that financial cliff. Because you've been watching this channel. You've been watching that in seven months, the Federal Reserve has got inflation down a half a percentage point. A half in seven months? And they're at eight and a half, they have to go to two? That's six percentage points? How the world do they get there in just the rest of this year? Yeah, they're going to need more months. They're going to need more months. And this is the big problem, is that people have been trying to send you fake analysis. Wall Street did it. And what does Wall Street look like tonight? Straight down when Macy's and Walmart missed those guidance in, in May. The market just really collapsed in May. And then everything started to rally. June, straight up. July, straight up. August, straight up. Tesla, through the roof, through the roof, straight up. And ignored, ignored, ignored Wall Street. Ignored all those Fed governors and Jay Powell spoke. 1,000 points, down 500 points, down 300 points, down 1,000, 200 points, down 100 points. I, I, this should have been not what had happened. And yet has happened. Housing market. Last night on this channel, an analyst said, oh, it's a great housing market because the price stability is still there. The prices are still maintaining themselves, even though the existing home sales are down, the builder's confidence is down, and no one's building, and the new home starts are down. But the prices are maintaining themselves, so it's not going to be really a recession. Uh, no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works in housing. First, what happens in the housing market crashes is first, people try to sell the house. It doesn't sell. So then they cut the prices. Analysts last night said, the prices are staying there. No, they're not. 24 hours later, 20% of American sellers of homes have slashed their prices. 20%. Then we compare the drop of the prices compared to year to date. They're below the 2019 levels in 40% of the market. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, that means people are losing their shirt compared to if they bought the house in the last two years. Oh, boy. Then what happens is they try to sell. They can't sell. The house that was on the market for one week is then on the market for one month, then two months. The inventory grows. As the inventory grows, then suddenly you don't have 100 homes for sale. You have 500 homes for sale. And then suddenly the buyer comes in and says, I only have five buyers and we have 500 homes. Well, the, the rest of you can just go seek your problem. And their problem is foreclosure. They lose the homes. And then the banks have problems. This is how a housing market collapses. And for that analyst last night to say the prices are stabilized, they're getting the same prices, is not true. It's like when you look at Bitcoin and crypto and, and Ethereum. And they held at 21000 for one night. <laughs> <laughs> that Ella said, crypto's holding for one night? Excuse me. Let's check back, back in on crypto for a week. Decentraland under, under 80 cents or under 90 cents. Ethereum pulling back. And yeah, crypto's coming back to this channel as well on LA3. It's just fake narrative after fake narrative. And the one that makes me the most disturbed, if it's not Wall Street because they're really crashing people's equity investments, it's... The administration. The administration who tried to redefine the term recession by saying it's not a recession based upon one economic point, I got to tell you, that's about like calling a pig a giraffe. It's really bad. The economic analysts sent out by the White House, and they're not alone because there are also some private equity and analysts are doing the same thing, saying that there's no recession because the labor market's really strong. One, if you look up any recession in the U.S. economy, history, that's not how it works. Labor falls apart later in the recession. It does not fall apart at the beginning of the recession. So if you're saying there's no recession because labor has yet to fall apart, that's not how recessions happen. Labor falls apart later in the recession. It's like saying there's no recession because housing is still really strong, or there is a recession because there is housing recession. No, that's not how you define it. Number two. The White House's reliance upon that unemployment rate is the lowest number since 1969 is now starting to crumble. Why? Because here we go. Layoffs, uh, hiring freezes, job cuts are left and right, and they're just starting because we're just underway with this recession. 
and the unemployment rate's going to continue to go up. The job participation rate has increased as well. And we also had yesterday um, productivity. Here it is. The productivity rate uh, really declined the second quarter and was actually worse than expected. So there's a lot of problems. For example, the work from home is not going to work anymore because they're saying productivity is so bad getting into the office. And then, then they say they don't want to get in the office. They're quitting. Uh, the job openings number is going up, not because <laughs> there's creating more jobs, but because more people are quitting. And ultimately, if they're on vacation for Labor Day weekend, when they come back to claim for those unemployment benefits, they're going to see that there's not a lot of money for unemployment benefits. Here's what you need to know. Data controls. You have to go with the data that works. And you have to go with all the data. You can't isolate yourself from bad data. If there's bad data out there. You don't just say, I'm going to ignore the bad data. You understand all the data. Then, if you look at, look at the culmination of the data together, the CPI, the PPI, the retail sales, and the, the personal consumption expenditure index for inflation, if they're all flat, then we're all flat for inflation. Pretty easy, right? Then, when you look at the housing data, existing home sales, existing buyer, buyer sentiment, new home starts, price of homes, uh, days in the market, if you look at all the data together, that was, what was that, seven data points I just gave you, all bad, then you understand housing is bad. I mean, this is very simple how you do it. When you're looking at equities, stocks, when you see five companies a night, downward guiding for earnings reports for the rest of this year, and they are 60% of the reports per day are downward guidance, then you know there's something wrong going on. And then when you see the labor number dropping, uh, excuse me, the unemployment rate actually growing month to month when it should be going the other direction, you see there's something wrong. And that's why data rules. What also rules is you. One viewer became a member and in one month got this. Why would you not become a member? If a financial cliff is this month, as I've been saying for a long time, and if that financial cliff is for or because of middle America, or maybe it's because of Wall Street, why would you not become a member? Why would you not renew your membership if there were incredible 14 categories of checks with 100 to 200 checks, they're still paying out, that money is still there, why would you not renew that membership right tonight and get those incredible sums of money? I think you should. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Renew your membership. Because ultimately, there ain't going to be any other stimulus than this anytime soon. For someone who says, when, when, where, the answer is, what have you done? Have you become a member? Have you gone out and applied for these checks? Have you gotten it? Learn to earn. I know it's Labor Day weekend. Don't learn to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't learn to burn this Labor Day weekend, but please get as much money as you can. Go under this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter. Here it is via YouTube. Remember, it's via YouTube, not via L8.com. It's via YouTube. Go down the membership newsletter to where it says view posts. Here's the, the alert, the YouTube alert. And then you go into the newsletter. The newsletter is delivered via the YouTube alerts, not the LA Late alerts, and you're ready to rock and roll. Get these big sums of money. There is the newsletter right there. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. It's a big night, and it's just getting started. The programming continues throughout the night. On evenings, 5 o'clock, street, street and stimulus, 7 o'clock, extra, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, uh, extra. I think I just butchered that. Six o'clock is counted. Eight o'clock is extra. Nine o'clock is sunset. The programming continues throughout the night and then continues in the new morning. Your inflation, your benefit raise, your housing market, your unemployment, your forced stimulus, everything you need to know nightly on this channel from the shores of Santa Monica, California. God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, get all this money, and stay with Ally for more.